Hey guys, Delta here, and I've got some Killzone Shadowfall multiplayer footage for you. Obviously it's not my own, I don't have a PS4 yet. This is coming out of Gamescom, and I just wanted to share my initial impressions after this multiplayer reveal from uh, the footage I've seen and the information that Guerrilla Games has released. So the first major thing is that Warzone is now called Warzones, and that is because Guerrilla's brought back the customization from Killzone 2, but not just that, they've added on to it tenfold. Now you can choose what weapons each faction faction has, what abilities each faction has, uh, a, you know, attachments that are available, uh, all these different things on top of, you know, the standard what game modes are going to be available in the match, uh, you know, how many players, the time limits, etc, etc. And then to add on top of all of that, you can share these, uh, these custom games online, and that is awesome. Other games have done it in the past, but not too many, and that is an awesome feature. Uh, not just because uh, you can share them online, but because these game types are... Th these are the ranked matches. These are not unranked. Uh, unless you bring uh, AI bots into it, then the game automatically becomes unranked. But when it's all human players, uh, you can be playing like some crazy custom game type, and it's ranked. Which is awesome, I'm excited to get on the game, uh, come up with some cool different... Uh, game types and share them. One of the ones Gorilla talked about was uh, they basically called it Hunter vs. Hunter and one team uh, had the cloak ability and a knife and nothing else. The other team had a shotgun and uh, it's kind of like a sensor grenade that sends out a pulse that detects these guys in uh, in their cloaks and that's that's all they had. So you had these two very different kinds of, of hunter classes going at it with each other which was, it just sounds really cool to me. In addition to that, there's three core classes, which I was a little off about at first, but as I've looked more into them, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so there's only three core classes instead of you know, about six, uh, but there's lots of customization. Uh, all the weapons are unlocked from the start. There's tons of attachments. Uh, you can swap out abilities. Uh, and the biggest thing for me that I've seen so far is the return of a form of the spawn grenade from Killzone 2. Uh, the spawn grenade was something that a lot of people liked, but it had flaws. Tactical spawn points from Killzone 3 were something that were generally universally disliked. So, myself and a lot of other people in the Killzone forums have been suggesting a spawn beacon uh, for, for quite a while now, and that's what we're getting. We're getting the spawn beacon in Shadowfall, which is something I love because being able to manually play spawns like that, um, you have to have very good players playing that tactician role in order to win a match. It adds a whole other level of strategy that a lot of games don't have. Uh, a lot of first-person shooters don't have, I should say. And it's something I'm, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to getting my hands on. The next big thing that Gorilla announced is that they are doing away with the, uh, the standard, the classic experience point ranking system. Instead, they're going to be doing it on challenges. I believe they've said there's going to be about 1,500 challenges, at least 1,500 challenges, uh, on disc, in the game, at launch. And they haven't really elaborated on what those will be. Like, I'm sure they'll be objective-based, they'll be, you know, weapon-based, kill-based, etc., etc. And you use those to rank up. So I guess, you know, you... I'm not sure if it's going to be you have to complete certain challenges or just have to complete uh, a certain number of challenges to reach the next rank. That's something I'm really looking forward to. It's something uh, new uh, because it hasn't been done in a long time. There are some games that have done that, and I've enjoyed it. Though some games have maybe taken it taken it too far and made it too difficult to rank up. A good example of that, in my opinion, is Warhawk. Um, though maybe that's just because I got into that game really late. Though it's still it's something I'm looking forward to. It's something I'm looking forward to seeing more of and uh, hearing explained further. Uh, and a big reason for that is because I love the Killzone 2 challenge. Killzone 2 was an XP-based ranking system, but then there were certain things that you had to complete challenges to unlock. That was something I really liked. I liked the combination of XP versus challenges, um, so I'm not quite sure how a pure challenge-based ranking system will work, like I've said. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that um, how that's done in the coming months, because this game, this is a launch title. This is coming out November 15th with the PS4. And one of the biggest, even though it wasn't really talked about, it was never really an official announcement, it was just something that was noticed, and then we asked the developers, 
the multiplayer portion of Killzone Shadowfall is going to be running at 60 frames per second. Uh, the single player is still 30 frames, I guess because Gorilla wants to go all out on the graphics. But multiplayer is going to be 60 frames per second. The series has previously always been at 30 frames. This is something I'm really excited for because anyone that knows anything about shooters knows that 60 frames per second is a huge, huge advantage for a game to have. Um, Call of Duty was really the only first person shooter to have it last generation on consoles. But now we're starting to see more of it, and I'm really glad that Killzone is catching up. It makes the game uh, just play a lot better. So, those are really the big things. I'm excited to see all the different stuff. Uh, I like that we all the weapons are going to be unlocked from the start. I'm really curious to see how the new challenge-based uh, ranking system is going to work. Uh, it could go either way for me. It could be too difficult to rank up, or it could be, um, you know, it could be just right, I think. I don't think it would ever be too easy because of just its nature. Um, and I'm hopeful to get my hands on this at PAX, uh, coming in the, in the next couple of days is when this video goes up, I'm making this a week before PAX. Um, I don't know if the game will be there, I don't know if it is, I don't know if it'll be single player, or multiplayer, or both, uh, Killzone 3 was both when, uh, that was at the first PAX I went to. Um, hopefully it is, if it is, I will definitely post more about it, let you guys know what I think. Anyways. Thanks for watching, um, hope you enjoyed the video, comment, like, subscribe, share the video around, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.